Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you're here. My name is Catherine, and I will be your facilitator for this session. Before we get started, we do have a few housekeeping items to note. First, your camera and microphone are off. You're muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to use the Q&A button to type in your questions to the presenters at any time. They are here ready and available to answer your questions. And lastly, this session is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. We are currently in session C1, where my mouse is circling. And this is also the same order of presentations. So without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our very first representative from William Peace University. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for the introduction. Again, my name is Caitlin Galley. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so I can get started on this presentation. So we are located in the heart of Raleigh. Um, we're just a short walk from a lot of good stuff going on when it comes to theaters, coffee shops. Um, it's all within walking distance. We like to say we have a 90,000 square acre backyard. Um, with that, we do really prioritize giving back to our community with over 7,000 hours of community service within the last year. Um, we have a lot of guest speakers that come to our campus as well as um, getting involved with um, acting in different things within the community as well. Um, with our educational partnerships, there are um, a handful of other schools in the area. Um, and with that, it's a prioritizing sharing resources, being able to take classes at different institutions. So that promotes collaboration and just sharing knowledge. There you can see a few of um, the rankings for Raleigh, one of uh, rank number two for the best places to live. I can definitely attest to that. I recently moved here in February and I have nothing but great things to say about um, the area as well as number thir three for um, quality of life. So it's definitely a really great place to be. Um, so in terms of WPU, some things to know, um, we have about 1,000 students on campus between our undergraduate and our School of Professional Studies. So it's a very small, tight-knit community with a um, faculty to a student to faculty ratio of 12 to 1. Um, our average class size is about 14. So you'll really get to know your professors. 63% um, of our students do live on campus. So you really get to know um, the, the students that you are attending school with. Um, we have been ranked in the top 10 percentile of, um, for effective teaching practices, and 73% of our faculty do hold um, terminal degrees. So they're very um, well knowledgeable in their field. None of our, our classes are taught by teaching assistants, so that really facilitates a mentorship culture. 90% um, of our students have, are employed um, within a year of graduating or within grad school. Um, and then also 67% of our students land jobs directly from internships, which are built into our curriculum. One of the big things that we really focus on is immersive learning. And what that means, it's an active and dynamic approach to education. So taking what you learn in the classroom and really applying it. So in that first box there, there are a few examples of what um, that looks like for different case studies, internships, and then also um, what that really facilitates for you as the student. So getting the feedback, areas improvement, again, further developing that mentorship culture um, and, and those great things. And then what that results in is really being well um, established and being a problem solver, creative thinking, all those things that really help you um, when it comes to that job search and being um, what employers are really looking for. 
When it comes to student support services, um, our Office of Diversity and Inclusion is something that we are um, very active on campus. We do have 45% of our students are persons of color, and we are very involved with um, celebrating our differences. So this month is um, LGBTQIA plus um, history month. And so we've been doing a lot for that, when it, there is workshops, um, volunteering, all those great things. Our Office of Student Involvement is going to be the one coordinating all of the other fun things that we have going on on campus. There's always stuff going on, so our calendar is always full of events. Um, and then our Wellness Center, it does offer um, free services for students um, for counseling, general health services, um, getting coordinations for our um, students with disabilities, when it comes to academic and career advising, that's where you'll really get to have um, somebody in your corner for uh, guiding you along with your academic um, journey and in terms of what you're looking for for your long-term career. So whether that's tutoring um, or academic workshops, we are always trying to stay ahead of the game in terms of what um, getting you that assistance outside of the classroom. So your academic advisor will help get you registered for classes, declare a major, um, and just plan for um, life up ahead. When it comes to transferring, um, we do accept up to 90 transfer credits, our articulation agreements. Um, so that way, if you have attended a community college in North Carolina, um, the majority of your liberal ed requirements are waived. We do have um, transfer specific scholarships, which I will touch on in a moment. And then also um, an exclusive transfer orientation to make sure you are um, ready to go. We do have about 35 academic programs. Um, they're listed here. I know that um, we're getting close on time here. So um, you can definitely refer to our website um, to get more information. We are um, part of D3 and um, NCAA. So um, we have a specific um, athletic admissions counselor. Um, so I recommend getting in touch with coaches early. And you know if that's part of your, um, on your short list of important factors um, to make sure that you reach out um, to get in touch with coaches. A lot of our students do get very involved. Here's a list of um, our activities and clubs. Um, there are a lot of clubs and activities that are student started. Um, so we definitely encourage students to um, start those clubs that might not already exist. For tuition and cost, um, with full-time tuition fees, um, the total comes to just over 44,000. However, our average financial aid award is just over 18,000. So there's merit scholarships, which you're automatically considered for uh, upon admission, as well as some other scholarships that you will be considered for. For the admissions process, it's super straightforward. There's the online application and just a short answer question. We um, do waive the application fee for any um, virtual or in-person visit or event, and it is rolling admissions, so we will have um, an admissions decision within two weeks. I would definitely encourage you to come check out campus. This week, we do have visit a class week. Um, so being on campus, getting a tour and getting to sit in on class. We also have a transfer info session coming up on November 4th, as well as our in-person peace preview on Saturday, the, uh, November 13th. And then we also have campus tours throughout the week and then uh, one Saturday a month. So, Thank you guys for um, joining us. I know that was um, short but sweet, but um, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to answering any of your questions. Awesome, thank you. The next representative is from Greensboro College. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Tori Foster, and I am the, a transfer admissions counselor from Greensboro College. Uh, Greensboro College, we are a small liberal arts college located steps from downtown Greensboro. We have offer 38 majors and 28 minors. Uh, students come from across the United States. We have a pretty even balance with male to female ratio, and 45% of our students 
are from a minority background with approximately 1,000 students enrolled. So the great thing about our college is we are surrounded by colleges right downtown, but we are a small college and we are sitting at the foot of a beautiful city in Greensboro. Our um, class sizes may range from 10 to 30 students per class. Of course, once you're in your major, you're gonna see those smaller classes. Um, by being a transfer student, chances are that you have already met the requirements for some of uh, most of our general ed. We um, all have a nine to one student to staff ratio, which once again, once you're in your major classes, you tend to get that really small one-on-one -on -one personal attention. Um, we are a school, um, we have a universal learning design, meaning that we do a lot of hands-on stuff. It's not just the books. It's also an opportunity for internships and doing some um, work within the community to help enhance what you are learning in the classroom. We are a part of a consortium where you can take advantage of classes throughout the area, including schools um, like UNCG, North Carolina A&T, Elon, High Point, Bennett, and several more schools in our consortium. So if we don't have it on our campus, that partnership allows you to branch out and get what you are looking for. Our campus is bustling. We are, we are small, but we've got a lot going on. Um, we offer a diversity, equity, and inclusion center because we want everyone to feel a part of the campus and have a safe space to go to create an environment that's right for them amongst your peers. Also, we have a global communication center. And in that center, we offer, um, you can do things like podcasting, that's a great place to go to get help with your writing and studying. So um, it's a great addition to our campus. We are also, we offer D3 athletics, um, ranging from volleyball, football, basketball. And if you are interested in participating in an athletic team, I encourage you to go to our website and click on the recruit me and reach out to the coach in the field that you are interested in and they will be in contact with you. So we have some really cool new majors come. We are have this great gains and in interactive media major that is fairly new. In our um, psychology department, we have um, human development and family science and new areas and concentration in our sciences departments. Um, we offer two online degrees and they're tailored for adults, specifically adults who have completed an associate's degree. You can gain an online degree in um, a bachelor's in business administration without ever stepping foot on our campus. If you meet the uh, admissions criteria, we're very generous with our transfer credits in that program. And we also have an opportunity to gain a psychology degree online. Of course, um, if you reach out to me, we can do evaluations of your transcripts to see if you would qualify to be awarded those degrees online without stepping foot on our campus. Our admissions process is fairly simple. Our online application is free. It's always free. And we offer enrolling admissions. To apply, you just need to simply complete our online application and we need transcripts from all schools that you have attended, all colleges and universities that you have attended. If you are under the age of 24, we would need a dean's form from the last school that you attended. And if you have less than 24 college credit hours, we would also need an official high school transcript. Our tuition has been realigned and right now we are sitting for tuition and fees at $19,000 before any financial aid or scholarships take place. And that's for the year. Um, that doesn't include any room and board if you were looking to live on campus. But we are one of the least um, private colleges, least expensive private colleges in North Carolina. And we still we do offer scholarships for our transfer students. Um, 
And if you're interested in one of our fine arts, such as theater or vocal music, we have um, fine art scholarships. If you are a Guilford County student and you're currently receiving the Say Yes Guilford, to Guilford County, that scholarship can be transferred into um, Greensboro College to complete your four years. And we also offer a lot of good need-based aid for those who qualify. Um, to qualify for any financial aid, you would need to complete the FAFSA with the exception of the transfer scholarships. There is criteria for the transfer scholarships and that financial aid information can be found on our website. And note that our FAFSA code is the 002930. And we do offer in-person visits Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. We have a 10 a.m. and a 2 p.m. And we also offer virtual visits Monday through Friday at 9, 11, and 3. Our Saturday information sessions and tours are um, on select days. Just check out our website to schedule any of these appointments. And our fall open house is coming up on November the 6th. It is scheduled from 9 to 12. I invite you all to come check us out. Um, during that time, we will be, um, we have a football game going on and there'll be lunch in the cafeteria. Awesome, thank you. Just a friendly reminder that if you have any questions at all to feel free to reach out um, using the Q&A button towards the bottom of your screen. Any questions at all, our representatives are here and available to assist. The next representative is from Florida Memorial University. Hi everyone. Alrighty, let's go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so we are Florida Memorial University and we are a historically black college and university in Miami Gardens. We're located about 20 minutes from Miami Beach. We are the culture of excellence and success on our campus. And in our campus, we have a community feel for all of our students where we go ahead and champion, championize a whole bunch of social justice projects that happen around the Miami Gardens community. A little bit of about Florida Memorial University. We started in 1879 in Live Oak, Florida, which is North Florida. And we had to migrate down South because of racial tensions. In 1968, we got amended our Opelika University campus where it is, we are located now in Miami Gardens. And in 2004, we were amended our charter and we were given two master's degree programs. So you're able to get a master's degree in business administration or in elementary education K through 12. We also had great people from our presidential campaign come and visit our campus as President Barack Obama in 2016 and Kamala Harris. And really one quick fact I like to tell students, in 2019, we, went, we won our um, Volley Boston Conference Championship and we were able to go ahead and be known as a Division II NAI school. So a whole, we have a whole bunch of um, alumni from FMU. One of our greatest alumni is Sabrina Fulton and she is a community activist and Trayvon Martin's mother. And she graduated in 1997 and Barrington Irving. He is the first black uh, pilot to fly across the globe by himself in 2009. And he graduated from us. And we have Dr. Vanessa Sanders who graduated as well of class 09. And she's the first African-American to receive a PhD in radio chemistry. So own your excellence and what does that mean on our campus? We are ranked top five for the um, elementary education Expo exponential student um, association. And as well as we have over 111 student athletes who have a 3.0 GPA or better on our campus. So why Miami? Why, why, why do you guys think, why would you guys come down here? Well, the location of the school is great. You come down to Florida and you're near Wynwood, Miami Beach, Brickell, and a whole bunch of other um, com uh, community active attractions like Little Haiti and the marketplace, as well as unforgettable events like Rolling Loud and um, Calle Ocho, which is a festival that we have a whole, bunch of, a whole bunch of people from different Caribbean backgrounds come and they flood 8th Street and it's a three-day weekend event. 
and what's popping on our campus. So at FMU, we do have residential halls. We have our freshmen and upperclassmen dorms. They are not co-ed, so they are gendered by female and male. And on our campus, we have 13 varsity sports, two JV sports, and we have the Divine Nine sororities and fraternities on our campus and that, that are active. And we have over 40 plus student clubs and organizations new students are able to join the, through the SGA Student Affairs office on our campus. We also have our ambassador Coral in the Roaring Marching Band. Our Roaring Marching Band was nominated top two of the nation of all, um, all HBCUs through AESPN. And we have a whole bunch of celebrations that students are able to come out and pretty much um, be part of the Lion Pride here on campus. So one of the great ones that we have coming up on campus is our homecoming week and as well as our fall convention. So what do we offer here at Florida Memorial University? Um, we offered any degrees under the Department of Aviation and Safety. We have our health and natural sciences. So my bio majors, radiochemistry, um, environmental, uh, environmental science, healthcare, you guys all fall, fall under that department. And the Department of Social Sciences. So our criminal justice major, law and government, psychology, sociology, social work. And then we have our computer science mathematics. So all of our IT, cybersecurity, math um, majors, and then departments of arts and humanities, which is our communications, our English, religion, philosophy, music, and music and entertainment, school of business, and school of education. So we have a lot of degrees to choose from for you guys to come here and study at FMU. Some cool facts that we do do for our departments, separate departments on our campus. A lot of the departments pretty much like to have a very hands-on teachable experience. In the beautiful turban right here in red, that is Dr. Stephen Rose, and she's the department head chair of our natural health and science on campus. And one cool thing that our department of computer sciences students do, they participate in the hackathon where students address technical ch um, challenges, excuse me, and collaborate on creative solutions. And that's really a great opportunity for you students to really understand the work that you'll be doing outside of college. So a lot of great opportunities here on here at FMU. So financing your education, we are a four-year private institution. So because of that, we do not have any out-of-state tuition fee. So at the bottom, your estimated cost for the 2021-2022 year would be um, 16,000 off campus. So that is without room and board as a full-time student. And then 24,000 with room and board and that's the traditional halls only. So you guys would be considered transfer students. So you guys automatically are eligible for our upperclassmen dorms and there are four selections out of those and depending on the dorms that you get which is semi-private private and um, quad style which is like an apartment style your cost of living kind of um, waivers we do offer scholarships as well to our transfer students so you are able to get a presidential honor honor scholarship that's a full ride and as well as our academic excellence scholarship which is a full tuition right as well so here are some of the requirements for our transfer students. All you have to have is a 2.0, sorry, GPA, 30 credit hours, and any um, upload any of your transcript from previous universities. So it's pretty straightforward to get accepted here at FMU. If you do not have the 30 credit hours, then what we do here at the admissions office, we pretty much, um, we evaluate you as a freshman. So you would have to have a 2.4 GPA and you have to turn in your high school transcripts for us to pretty much um, give you an acceptance upon coming here at FMU. So uh, we are in common with the Common App and we are doing rolling admissions and early acceptance. So November 1st is our deadline and to come into our university for our fall 2022 semester, it would be August 1st. We start school the third week of August. So the first Monday of the third week. Great, thank you. No problem. And if you guys want to go ahead and apply, here's our QR code and to visit our campus, here we are. Thank you. So much great information. We appreciate it. No problem. The next representative is from Winston-Salem State University. Hey, what's up? Appreciate it. Um, thank you to all the schools that are on as well. Um, I appreciate you all for your service and your work. My name is Dr. Hines with Winston-Salem State University. I'm going to get straight to it. Thank you all for your time um, this evening, um, for your sacrifice and things of that nature. All right. Well, welcome to Winston Salem State University, home of the Rams. We consider ourselves a Ram family here in Winston Salem, North Carolina, We're right in the middle of the state. All right. We were founded as a teacher's college in 1892. 
25 students, one faculty member. We have since grown to over 5,000 students. Small class sizes, 14 to one. We want to make sure that you are able to build relationships with professors, build relationships with faculty members and staff, and also get the tutoring times that you need. Um, we have been named number one in North Carolina for graduating black students in nursing and health professions. We are also named number one as the best college for your money for all public HBCUs in the US. We do, we are nationally ranked, and we'll get to this in a minute, in our uh, nursing program, best in North Carolina, one of the best in North Carolina, um, our social work program and our clinical laboratory science program. All right, for my transfer students, you all, here's your requirements. If you are over 21, we simply require a 2.0 GPA. If you're under 21, we require that 2.0 GPA, but we also require 24 transferable credit hours. That means you have a C or better in those courses and those courses are level 100 or higher. All right. Um, if you don't meet the 24 transferable credit hours, we can evaluate you as a freshman. Um, we are test optional this year. And so um, if you um, if you didn't take the test or couldn't um, didn't like your scores, you don't have to send them in um, and we can evaluate you as a freshman. How do you apply? Great question. Um, so you will go to our um, application portal, Rams. Um, RAM, excuse me, admissions.wssu.edu. Um, you go there, create the portal, um, put in your information, then complete the application. And then you will submit all supporting documents. Dr. Hines, what are all supporting documents? Glad you asked. All supporting documents will be your high school transcript if you don't have over 24 transferable credit hours. And all, 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 all official college transcripts from previously attended uh, institutions, all right? So whether you went there for a semester, whether you um, or you thought you went there or you might have went there, all, trans all um, college transcripts, we need all of them um, to evaluate you as a transfer student. Um, this week is free application week. We're also waiving transfer applications. So please go ahead and apply to our institution. Our application deadlines are as follows for the spring, January 8th. We have a role in admissions um, for the summer is May 5th. And for the fall, it's July 3rd. You may say, Dr. Hines, there are three days there for the fall. I like to encourage students to get all their documents in on the first date. We all know technology may fail us sometimes. So we may need to spend some time um, redoing some things or whatever the case may be. So give yourself that time and that cushion. Um, we do have um, more than 40 bachelor's programs, um, majors. We do have almost 50 minors at our institution. Um, we do have nine master's programs um, and two professional um, doctoral programs and two certificate programs. That is actually five, excuse me, it's five certificate, certificate programs. Um, some of our top transfer um, degree programs is nursing. As I mentioned, top nursing program in the East Coast. Um, our social work program, um, our business administration program, um, which is now called business and entrepreneurship, um, our exercise science, um, our education, we have a birth to kindergarten program, and we have an elementary education program, and in our biology pre-med pre-dental program as well. Um, here in North Carolina, we do require our students to do um, what is called uh, the res residency determination service. Um, this determines whether you are in-state or out-of-state. All students have to do it regardless of your status. All right, so when you fill out your FAFSA, please make sure you do the RDS. Um, some of our areas of studies, um, along with our top majors, are arts and entertainment, business, leadership and entrepreneurship, communications, languages, um, and media, education, health and fitness, social justice and advocacy, and STEM. All right, again, those are 40 majors that fall under those seven areas. We do have um, over 11, uh, excuse me, 11 co-ed residence hall and one all um, women's residence hall. Um, transfer students that, um, transfer students are not required to stay on campus, um, although they are welcome. All right, we are division two CIAA conference um, athletics program. We do have basketball, cross country, softball, tennis, track and field, volleyball, and cheerleading for women. We do have a basketball, cross country, football, golf, and cheerleading for men as well. Um, these are scholarship opportunities along with our uh, CIAA uh, Division II number one band. I didn't say it. Don't blame me. ESPN said it. You can blame ESPN. Yes, we do have the number one Division II band in the land, um, and that includes our Scarlet Lace dancers. All of those are scholarship opportunities, um, so I encourage you to reach out to our our, um, our 
program leaders um, and our coaches to get involved in those programs if you so choose to participate. So tuition, excuse me, tuition um, here at Winston State University in state is around 18,347, um, out of state 28,594. All right. Um, one thing that you can adjust is the health insurance there, which is optional. All right. Some of our notable alum uh, will be uh, Mr. Stephen A. Smith, um, ESPN um, talk show host, um, graduated from Winston State. Um, and because because of the time restriction, I'll just skip right down to uh, Chris Paul's a current student. Um, yes, that's all star NBA player uh, for the Phoenix Suns is a current student at Winston Salem State University. I, I had the pleasure of admitting him myself. Um, I don't want to brag, but yeah. All right, here at Winston Salem State University, we encourage you to be the next. We want you to enter to learn and depart to serve. Depart to serve your family, your community, um, this country, and all those you come in contact with. I mean, if you have any questions, of course, put them in the uh, question box and we'll be sure to answer them. Um, my um, colleague, Mr. Tristan Rainey and myself, our emails are right here. So if you have any questions, please take a screenshot, take a picture, do whatever you can um, to get in contact with us because we want you to be the next student and be the next Ramley um, here at Winston-Salem State University. So thank you all for your time. Um, I appreciate it. And you all, make sure you ask questions because we want to hear from you. Very helpful, thank you. Just another friendly reminder, as stated, if you have any questions at all, so feel free to submit those using the Q&A button. Any questions at all about college, the college application process, the college search process, um, or if you have any specific questions for any of our schools represented here, we encourage you to include the school name. Our last, Representative, but certainly not least, is from North Carolina State University. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate you being here. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. I'm going to turn off my video during this presentation. So welcome to Raleigh, everybody. And we're going to go ahead and get started again. Let's see. Here we go. All right. So just to give you a little bit more information about Raleigh, Raleigh is, um, NC State is one mile from downtown Raleigh, and it's a work and play city. It's a very serious college town, uh, corporate town. Uh, so there's a lot going on. There's great restaurants developed by award-winning chefs, uh, hundreds of bistros and restaurants nearby. Raleigh is actually listed as one of the 10 coolest places to eat in uh, the, in all of the land, basically. There's lots of events, a convention center with fine arts programs, street fairs of every genre you can imagine, music festivals of every genre you can imagine as well, Arts Explosure, a fantastic arts and crafts festival, the Hopscotch Music Festival, downtown amphitheaters with concerts uh, right nearby as well. And also if you're into Motorama, Motorama and other outdoor uh, activities, there's a big, huge, uh, collectors, antique and performance car shows, motorcycle shows, and boating shows. And outdoors, there's many parks, lakes, and camping trails nearby, and Dorothea Dix Park, Raleigh's largest city park, 308 acres, known for its seasonal sunflower field and off-leash dog park. Also, community events like yoga in the park and bird watching walks happen on a regular basis. And also nearby is Lake Johnson. It has paved greenways for walking or jogging, trails for hiking, boat rentals, kayaking, or stand-up paddle boarding as well also. Now, we offer a lot of experiential experiences to enhance your education, entrepreneurship, starting your own company. Um, we're pretty famous for it. We have actually in the past few years had over 176 startups and spinoff companies that have been created from undergraduate research where our students are the owners of their own brand new companies before they will graduate with their degree. We are actually ranked out of over 3,500 colleges and universities in the nation. We are number 10 nationwide for undergraduate entrepreneurship. Co-ops and internships, they are available to all students of every single major, a summer, a semester, or an entire year, or all options with this program, and then you'll return to the university to finish your degree and cap off the beginnings of having even more fantastic career opportunities. Study abroad, hundreds of programs in over 60 countries to add international flair and tools to your academic toolbox. Research, huge. One of two public research intensive universities in the state, our Office of Undergraduate Research supports and promotes discovery, inquiry, scholarship, and creativity-based research opportunities through mentored experiences with NC State faculty and other scholars and professionals. Undergraduate research and scholarship at NC State University can look different according to the discipline you're in, but regardless, students are gaining skills on how to create knowledge in their field as far as the eye can see. 
NC State also offers research projects by departments, individual courses, and even undergraduate research abroad opportunities. In addition to our campus resources, our location being pivotal near downtown, Centennial Campus, another part of NC State, and research on Triangle Park, one of the most expansive research parks in the nation, which is critical for undergraduate research opportunities for students in every single major. Our most popular academic programs, our academic colleges offer over 100 majors for our students, 130 minors as well to pursue at NC State. As you may be familiar with, NC State is a major dependent institution. You may or may not have known that in our admissions process. On the screen, you can see the top 10 transfer majors for the fall of 2021. Please know that this is not an exhaustive list of our majors, as again, NC State offers many different majors and minors across our 10 academic colleges, all of which have a very, very popular following. Next up, what we look for, basically all transfer applicants should have at least 30 transferable college credit hours, including specific coursework and a competitive GPA based on the major you're applying for. Meaning these strong recommendations does not necessarily guarantee admissions, but it sets you up to be considered a competitive applicant in the review process. Your transferable GPA, we recalculate your overall GPA based on all transferable types of courses attempted in your college career. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's not a maximum amount of hours that you can transfer in, but be careful. You must complete at least 25% of the degree work or more in order to graduate from NC State. For engineering, for example, you have to complete at least the last 48 credit hours of the final 60 credit hour layout in order to graduate from any of their programs. Courses repeated at a previous institution are calculated with the original grades earned, but we will exclude the two lowest grades in your college career below a C minus when calculating the overall cumulative GPA from all transferable coursework attempted outside of NC State. And of course, we will always be looking for those excellent grades in the highly recommended courses. Your major specific coursework, again, competitive applicants will have at least 30 transferable credit hours or more with the correct strongly recommended courses prior to submitting an application for admissions, but courses in progress will be considered, but those who have exceeded the strongly recommended coursework for their major of interest prior to applying could have a stronger competitive edge. Your accomplishments and involvement outside the classroom because of the heavy emphasis on academic preparation, enrichment activities should complement the major you're applying for if you have that opportunity and chance. Enrichment activities are anything you do outside of the classroom, for example, jobs, military experience, clubs, community work, city work, honor societies, and so on. Your interest in the program you're applying for, recommended coursework, and a competitive GPA are determined by your program of interest. You will apply into your major of interest on the admissions application. We look for recommended courses, related courses, and activities and work experience you have been involved in. And an academic interest essay will be required on the application and tell us why you're interested in the program. These are our transfer resources. Take a picture of admissions.ncsu.edu forward slash transfer with your phone. Open up that camera because I've got something next up, but we do have our recommendations for all 10 colleges. Our baccalaureate degree plans are built for over 90% of our majors if you are at a North Carolina Community College. And then our transfer credit database has over 3,000 colleges in there based on a historical database, historical data of transcripts received um, when they apply. And here, if you take a picture of the QR code, you can connect with us. And we are rolling uh, admissions as well. Fall entry, you want to apply by February 15th. And we begin rolling the decisions out on April 15th. Spring entry, definitely apply by October 1st. However, for a few more days, we are taking some applications for the spring. And we'll begin rolling out those decisions on November 15th. Again, if you're interested in us, scanning that QR code will get you in our contact list. And you can also contact our admissions office and ask to speak to an admissions officer if you need some more information. We'll be more than happy to help you out. And um, with that, that's our little presentation right now. Thank you so much. Catherine. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you to all our representatives. So much great information. It's been really helpful. Um, but we have some time left. And at this time, I invite all our representatives to please go ahead and turn on their cameras to get ready to unmute yourselves. Um, for our first question here, which is what advice would you give someone going through the college search? What advice would you give someone going through the transfer process? Again, what advice would you give someone going through the transfer process? And we'll go ahead and get started in the same order in which you all presented in. I definitely recommend getting on as many college campuses as you can or doing the virtual visits. 
it's really great to just immerse yourself. And I think there's so much to be said for fit um, and to really see what a school is all about. My advice would be to take a look at um, the major and what you're interested in, reach out to someone and have your transcript evaluated to see what timeline you're gonna be looking at. If you, ha if you know you're looking to transfer when you start the community college, just get an idea of what will transfer and look at those articulation agreements. Hello, yes, I agree with both, with both of my colleagues. Um, it's very important to know what um, tr credits you're gonna transfer over when you're thinking about transferring to a school and as well as planning your own two feet on the campus to see how you really feel, to see if the campus is a great fit for you. So, yes. Yeah, definitely can't um, disagree with that. And I agree wholeheartedly with what um, my three colleagues have shared. Um, the one thing I would suggest to add on to that is know what type of student you are. Um, some people want to be an online student. Some people want to be an in-person student. Some people, some transfer students want the college experience because you may um, have just come from a community college or whatever the case may be. You may be an adult learner um, and things of that nature. Know what type of student you are um, and know whatever school you're going to ensure that they are able to accommodate the type of student that you are um, and accommodate um, your needs as well. I'm gonna have to echo what everybody on here has said. It's tough being the last one to go because everybody has a chance to say all the good stuff, but uh, definitely visiting the campus. And we found that during the, um, the height of the pandemic that a lot of families really enjoyed the self-guided tour along with guided tours, you know, and they're coming back slowly but surely, but um, that they really enjoyed the self-guided tours that I think every one of us offer now across the country. And a lot of people seem to really be taking uh, advantage of going during a weekend now, because they know every college, large and small, is gonna be hustling and bustling during the week. And they wanna see what it's like when it's quiet, because even the largest colleges have quiet campuses on the weekends at times. And they wanna see what it's gonna be like when they're walking to the cafeteria, to the bookstore, to the library, uh, to see a friend at a dormitory residence hall and, and they wanna see how that feels when they're on their own. And so our, and we've talked with other uh, representatives because we all tend to know each other across the land and they've noticed a big uptick in the self-guided tour on Sundays when nobody's really around and a few things are open on each of the campuses, of course, but definitely taking a look, looking for that fit. Uh, Caitlin from William Peace made a very good um, case right there, you know, that fit and feel and every college, in the country has something great to offer a lot of students. Always remember that. So do your research, look for the majors, uh, talk to the departments, don't talk to just the admissions offices, call the departments that are working with your major as well and ask to speak to you know, one of the professionals in that particular field and find out where are your students going? Are they moving on to graduate school? Are they moving, what kind of companies? Are they starting their own companies? And things along this line. But again, what everybody said here is spot on. Awesome. We have, we'll have time for one more question. So we'll go ahead and make this um, rapid fire. But the next question here is what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Same order. Tight knit community with big city opportunities. I would have to echo exactly what William Peace just said. We are small. Um, school. We have great opportunities to really build great relationships, and we are right downtown Greensboro. It's a great um, opportunity to be in the city, yet get that small community to be successful. Picking backing off of um, Caitlin and um, Foster here. Yeah, we're a smaller school here in Miami Gardens. And so if you want a smaller community feel, but in a bigger city, I guess the school will be for you. Um, we're in Miami, so it doesn't get any better than that outside of the city. So yeah. We're an intimate family environment. Um, we don't have the big city. Um, and that's okay. You may not be about the big city. You may not want to be in Greensboro, Raleigh, Miami. I mean, you don't need all that sometimes. Sometimes you do, though. I understand. Um, 
But yeah, we're an intimate family environment here at Winston Salem State University. I would have to say uh, just the opportunity to expand yourself and customize your degree. Not everybody has the exact same degree layout because all of the programs, what makes us really unique and stand out is that almost every major has different sets of courses that can meet one particular requirement as well. And uh, customizing your degree, the students really love that because in one case, when they're filling out, say, a gen, a gen ed or a major specific course, they might have uh, anywhere from five to 25 different courses when you have to pick two out of those 25 courses to meet that those two degree requirements. And so you really are customizing your degree. So customization of what you want to do exactly is one of the most beautiful things about studying at NC State University and just the opportunities that are there. Awesome. Awesome, and what a great way to end. Um, there's so many, each institution is truly unique. And so um, it's great to hear um, what sets each institution apart. Um, but again, thank you to our representatives for a great Q&A, um, for great information shared. We really appreciate your time. And thank you to each of you for joining us. We have now reached the conclusion of this session. As we close, there'll be a very quick five question survey that will appear on your browser. If you don't mind taking a moment to fill that out for us, your feedback is extremely helpful. And this session is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. Thank you all and have a great night. Take care everybody.